At the east end of the Danforth, a small group forms late Saturday afternoon, but the message they carry is a significant one. It is the duty for every human being to keep a check on its fundamental human rights. Mohammed Momin al Haq is the director of the Peace and Justice Alliance. He says he's been exiled from Bangladesh, where he lived before because he spoke out against the government. People of Bangladesh want international community, raise boys, Eastern, for their rights, freedom, fair vote and human rights. He and others here are trying to raise awareness as they call for solidarity. People of Toronto as well as Canadian people, I know that they believe about the freedom. They believe on democracy. They believe on human rights. So they need to raise bias. They need to do uh, participate. Efforts by Mohammed and those like him are the exact kind of action the United Nations Secretary General says needs to happen. These trying times call for a recognition of our commitment to all human rights, civil, cultural, economic, political and social. It was 74 years ago to the day on Saturday when the United Nations General Assembly adopted the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which sets out ways to make sure everyone has equal dignity. Antonio Guterres made this call ahead of what he built as a landmark anniversary next year. To put human rights at the heart of efforts to reverse today's damaging trends. As part of that continued push to make sure human rights are at the forefront, here on Bathurst Street, Amnesty International is hosting a write-a-thon. To have somebody sit down and write, I'm greeting you from Toronto on Human Rights Day, um, and I'm concerned about so-and-so because of this, and this is what I'd like you to do, that's pretty awesome. Marilyn McKay is one of the forces behind Saturday's event called Right for Rights. She helped organize the first one in 2003 after it started in Poland a couple years earlier. Then there were only a few hundred letters. These days we're writing 30,000. Fighting for those jailed and even tortured for things like peacefully protesting is important for organizer Avery Jagdave. Right for Rights is always the most anticipated event, it's the most exciting time of the year for human rights activists. This is really just an opportunity for us to make a very big change. She and others here are writing letters to those imprisoned as well as global leaders. Ten cases were chosen based on urgent need. There is that that sense of hopelessness that comes when you hear from about these like huge issues and you know these are just 10 cases there's thousands there's hundreds of thousands worldwide i think the key is that there's millions of us coming together to write these letters this is a global movement for more on today's events and how you can help visit citynews.ca in toronto nick westall city news